Good day, saints of God. I pray everyone is doing well. This is Brandy, and I'm back trying to be quick with God. I want to. I want. I want to go over Job eight with everyone. I'm sensing God has something to say to His children. We're still on our destiny. We're still talking about our destiny, being in line with God's greatness, being in line with God's will for it. We want our destinies. Our purpose, our assignments, our call, our life. Hallelujah. As the body of Christ, as the saints of God, as the remnant of God, as those, hallelujah, hewn from the rock, cut from a different cloth. Those called by God, those named, hallelujah, with the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We desire Hey, my God, I am most We desire for our life, hallelujah, to be a delight to God. We desire for our life, hallelujah, to be in, a, in ordinance, glory to God, in alignment, glory to God, with the kingdom of God, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. That's our strong desire today, God. Hallelujah, that our lives be aligned with you, God. Hallelujah. So Job, in chapter 8, had some really good friends, you know. And his friends, as I, 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 I uh, did some studying about Job and his friends, his friends thought Job uh, had sinned against God. And the reason why he was going through so much, going through so much, and as we all know, if we read chapter one of Job, that uh, uh, God uh, asked Satan had he considered his servant Job, put a pen in servant, and uh, Satan responded, "Hallelujah!" Let's go there really quickly. Uh, Job one. Glory to God. Bless this word, Father God. Job 1, 7. Or let's go 6. Job 1, uh, verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to the presence, or to present, I'm sorry, to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence cometh you let's see what it says in the uh, living bible it says in the living bible where have you come from the lord asked Satan where have you come from Satan replied from the earth where I have been watching everything that is going on then the lord said ask Satan have you noticed my servant Job? This is the Living Bible translation now. He is the finest man in all of the earth, a good man who fears God and will have nothing to do with evil. So this is this is the desire for the saints of God's life. We want nothing to do with evil. Why shouldn't he? This is what this is Satan's reply. Why shouldn't he? When you pay him so well, Satan scoffed. My God. Why shouldn't he want to have anything to do with evil? When you talking about God, when God pays Job so well, Satan scoffed. You have always protected Job and his home and his property from all harm, meaning all of God, all of Satan. God has protected Job from. He, I'm sorry, you have prospered everything he does. Talking about Job. Look how rich he is. No wonder he worships you. But just take away his wealth. And you will see him curse you to your face. And the Lord replied, now, so now, so look at this counsel. Look at this counsel. 
Hallelujah. Look at God. Look at the, the counsel between good and evil concerning the lives of the saints. We're no, nowhere in there, guys. We're not. In, we're not a part. We're not partakers. We don't even. We don't get to say so. Look at this thing. Hallelujah. We don't get this. This. This counsel. We. We. We don't have a say so in this. Uh huh. So. So Satan telling God that because of the things that God allowed Job to 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 attain is the reason why he serves God. And so God was like, okay. Satan was like, just take away his wealth and you'll see him curse you to your face. And the Lord replies to Satan, <laughs> this is funny to me. You, you may do anything you like to his wealth. You may do anything you like to, to, to his career. You may do anything you like to what brings in income, to what brings in uh, 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 security in the earth, right? You may do anything you want to that, that to him that brings uh, uh, security, that brings structure, that brings even um, even an emotional sense, guys, pay attention, even to his emotional structure. If you could do anything you want to that 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 that, that uh, uh, brings a uh, um, a surety, assured assurance uh, to his physicality, to his emotions, to his family, to his uh, 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 um, even mental. Come on, guys, because if you study the Book of Job, he even goes into a, a mental complaining area, a place of of, of unsurety mental in his mentality, and God had to bring bring him right back, right. So 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 pay attention to what this this counsel that the children of God, the saints of God, we have no we're not privy to. But we have a responsibility to, right? God still calls us responsible. Hallelujah. Even in the in the in the realm of heaven that we that we we we're not even we don't go we're not in, in, in there with them as they're they're deliberating over us. But we still have a responsibility here in this realm for what was said in the realms of the heavens. So let's let's look a little deeper. So God says you can take away his wealth. Uh, you can take away anything that you like with his wealth, but don't, but do not harm him physically. Well, we know that he didn't, he, Satan didn't pay attention to that because he still, uh, Job still ended up sick. So many, you can't take, well, I guess, you know, maybe God was saying you can't take his life. You can do everything. But you can't take his life off of the off of the face of the earth. So let me see what it says in the uh, in the uh, King James. Glory to God, we love you, Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in your power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. Uh huh. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Okay, so. So yes, that's what that means. So you can take everything away from him, but you can't take his life. So, so here, here's here's the deliberation. We're 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 in the middle of a tug and war here, guys. And it, and you we, we got to get used to it. Our destiny it belongs to the Father. We must recognize that. But even in that, there's going to be a tug of war. Hallelujah. And the way we respond. The way we continue to seek God, the way we continue to service God through our lives is what's going to be the standing point. What's going to want to, what's going to, what's going to allow us to remain, right? So, the Lord replied to Satan, "You may do anything you like with His wealth, but don't harm Him physically." So Satan went away, and sure enough, not long afterwards. When Job's sons and daughters were dining at the eldest brother's house, tragedy struck. Okay? So tragedy struck. That's where we are. Destinies caged. Opportunities taken. Decisions wrong. Spells, curses, bondages weaknesses allowed to transpire right destiny destiny assignments life purpose callings doing the will of God 
allowed to be shaken. God sees a, a, a wonderful thing in us. He sees us. He sees himself in us. Created in his likeness, in his image. He sees the greatness that is in us. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. He sees himself in us. Satan sees it as well. Destiny, purpose, cause, hallelujah, assignments, alignments in God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All these things allowed to be shaken. All these things allowed to be tested, removed, unhinged, or even caged. Allowed. Hallelujah. To see. Hallelujah. Who you will serve. Who you will believe. Who you will trust in. Who you will stand on. Who. Is it the money. That keeps you serving God. Is it the lack of money. That keeps you pursuing God. Or is it God that keeps you loving him, keeps you searching him, keeps, keeps you pursuing what causes him to be delighted in you? What is, it, what is it in you that keeps you seeking God? What is it in you that keeps you wanting him? What is it in you that keeps you serving him? Caged and all, what is it? Oh God, oh God. So here we are, we have, we have uh, Job's friends that think that he's done something evil against God. And we already know that the deliberation went on in heaven concerning Job. But his friends, as, as we are, we're not privy to the information. We're not privy to what's going on in the heavenlies. His friends wasn't privy to what Satan and, and God was talking about pertaining to Job's life. Right, so they accused him of being a sin, in sin, accused his children of being in sin. So let's 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 look at it. Uh, it says here, uh, how long? It says, but Beldad, the Shuite, replies to Job, how long will you go on like this, Job? Blowing words around like wind. So, 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 so some of us, as we've been, been, been doing these prayers for our destiny, really seeking God for the purposes of our lives, for, 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 for answers, for alignment with our assignments, for, for, for our lives to be on track with Holy Spirit. Some people are thinking like, well, y'all just, y'all just throwing words around. These just vain declarations, vain prayers, vain, vainly seeking God, right? How long will you, will you be like this? How long will we be like this? Some of our friends are saying, some of our family members are saying, some of our co-workers are saying, blowing words around like wind. Does God twist justice? Question mark. If your children sinned against him, against God, and he punished them and you begged almighty God for them now this is the, this is where he's, he's trying to say against Job if you were pure and good God would hear your prayer if, see this is what your family members are saying if your friends because because it's, it's been a long time we've been praying for a long time some of us have been praying for years decades and it seems like it just go, keeps going a different way to the outside eye, was like, well, where is this God? Right? So some of some are saying, well, if, if you were pure hearted, if you were pure and good, wouldn't God would have answered you by now? Wouldn't he have answered your prayers? Wouldn't he have blessed you by now? Wouldn't he have made you a, a given you a happy home, blessed your home to have a happy home by now? And though you started with little, uh-huh, he would end with much you would end with much so why we don't see it now why are 
this friend is asking you, why are we not seeing this now? Why your life not showing nothing? Your mother want to know, your father want to know, why are you, why are you trusting this God? You're not seeing nothing. It's, it's the same thing. You went to, you said you, you, you got up early this morning, you prayed, you declared, you commanded this day, hallelujah, to give you your wealth, to give you your provision, uh, provision. To sustain you in this earth realm, you act, you command this earth to yield you your increase, and you lay down for bed. Glory to God, Hallelujah, Father God, thank you for your presence, and it's still the same. If you were pure, if the saints of God, if we were pure, if our hearts were right, if we were good people, wouldn't God have answered us by now? Uh huh. If we start off with little, why we don't have much now? We're still praying years later. Some of us decades in. I'm, I'm, I'm just keeping it real. A lot of us, we've prayed and our life don't look like nothing we've prayed for. What, what's going on? To the outside eye, we're like, what's going on? It says, read the history books and see. For we were born but yesterday and know so little. Our days here on earth are as transient as shadows, but the wisdom of the past will teach you. The experience of others will speak to you. Uh huh. So 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 yeah. You see others they <clears throat> they've experienced a, a speedy answer from God. They may have experienced a quick turnaround in God, but then there's some of us. And I, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm gonna attest to this. There's some of us. It's, it's been taking forever. It's been taking God forever. And you have people in ministry saying, "You know what? They don't serve God. Uh, 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 uh." Because my God, He answered my prayers right then and there, right now. Uh, uh. There's something they doing wrong. There's something they not. They, they, they not in communion. They not in communion with the body and fellowship with the body. So they, they not gonna get their prayers answered. They're not gonna be blessed. Uh huh. They're not gonna be blessed. So you, they, you, but you look at the history. We get blessed quick. We look at the experiences of others, and we get blessed quick. Uh huh. But the wisdom of the past will teach you. The experiences of others will speak to you. Uh huh. Reminding you that those who forget God have no. Have, I'm sorry. Those who forget God. Have no hope. We want we're not forgetting God. See, they want us to forget Him. They want us to, to go their ways, their direction. Uh-uh. You keep, you keep, it doesn't matter what your life looks like. You keep anchored in God. You keep steady in God. They are like rushes without any mire to grow in. Or grass without water to keep alive. Those without God. Uh-huh. It may look good. It may look good to them and to you for a moment. Uh-huh. Suddenly, come on. Suddenly, what happens? Their ways begin to wither even before it is cut. Uh-huh. A man without God is trusting in a spider's web. Everything he counts on will collapse. Everything we co- we, we 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 trust in outside of God, it collapses. Glory to God. We thank God that we trust God. It don't matter how long it's going to take. Our destinies are uncaged. Our destinies belong to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe it today. Hallelujah. Pray. Keep praying that God says it's about to break. Keep fast and it's about to break. It's about to break forward. Everything he counts on will collapse if we don't trust God. He if he counts on his house for security, it won't last. At dawn, he seems so strong and viral, vir- viral, I'm sorry, viral, like a green plant. His branches spread across the garden. His roots are in the stream, down among the stones. But when he disappears, it isn't even missed. He isn't even missed. But when he disappears, he isn't even missed. These are the ones without God. 
That is all he can look forward to. And others spring up from the earth to replace him. But look, God will not cast away a good man, nor prosper evildoers. He will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. Those who hate you shall be clothed with shame when God shows up in our lives. Those who hate us, hallelujah God, will be clothed with shame and the wicked destroyed. Wait on God. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, God and Satan checked in on you and said, hey, listen, God said, I got a servant right here and they will not change their heart towards me. It don't matter what you've done to them. You can take their wealth. You can, the wealth, hallelujah, is not their pillar. I am the pillar of their salvation. I am the pillar of their lives. I am the pillar of their de destiny. And that is what shall go forth. You and I, we are in the midst of the greatest breakthroughs of our lives if we just continue to hold on and trust God. If we just continue to walk, hallelujah, and believe that we are victorious. I heard in my spirit this morning, God says, I'm a champion. He told me I was a champion. And so I'm telling you all too, we are champions before the living God. He wanted me to get on here to tell you, I'm not just a champion because I'm, I'm getting on here for all of us. We are champions. God has called us victors. He's called us victorious. He's called us winners. He's called us his celebration. He celebrates our life. He is delighted in our life. If we just hold on and continue to trust in him. Our lives are about to break forth in God. And there's nothing hell can do about it. Hell has given the children of God his best shot. Hallelujah, every demonic cycle is broken. Every demonic plan is being broken off our life. Every demonic plot is being broken off of our life today. And we shall walk in places that celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We shall walk in places of peace. Yes. Hallelujah. God says we are qualified. Hallelujah. As believers in Jesus. To have bestowed upon us. The joy and increase. Hallelujah. That the Lord himself has prepared for our lives. We shall see. We shall walk. We shall even talk the increase in favor that God has for our lives and he's bestowed upon us in the mighty name of Jesus I hear that in my spirit as I prepare to get off of here I read Job 8 glory to God in Job 1 chapter 1 Job chapter 1 and Job chapter 8 Job all of 8 chapter 1 I read verse 7 no verse 6 Glory to God. Hallelujah. May God be blessed today. Verse 6. Hallelujah. Till about 13 it looks like. You guys be blessed. Trust your destiny belongs to God. Trust your financial prosperity belongs to God. Trust that your breakthrough in your business belongs to God. Trust that your marriage belongs to God. Trust that your children belongs to God. Trust that your career Glory to God. Your businesses. Glory to God. Your education. Your ministry. It belongs to God. And it's favored by God. It's favored by the Lord. That's why he considered you. That's why he told Satan. Had you, have you considered my servant? And plug your name in. Have you considered my servant so and so? Oh yeah. You can take all of, everything away from him. I bet you, hallelujah, they're going to still praise my name. I bet you, hallelujah, they're going to still search me out. 
I bet you they still going to trust me. I bet you they still going to be anchored in me. I can bet that. Hallelujah. God says start interceding. Glory to God for your loved ones. Start interceding for your friends. And he's going to restore it back. Double everything the enemy took. Everything the spell was allowed. Because see, cause see when, when, when God gave uh, Satan the green light. Ha uh ha. -huh. When God gave Satan the green light to come after you. He came after you with a spell. Satan came after you with a spell. Came, Satan came after you with, with uh, the workers of iniquity, the workers of darkness, the, work, the black magic, all that stuff. He allowed, he, God allowed that to happen. So you can get back double. Start praying. Start interceding for those that are around you. Start interceding for your friends that don't believe it and believe God is working your life out. Start, start praying for your family members that don't believe God, that you're hearing God. Start, well, hallelujah, praying for those co-workers that don't believe you, you serve a mighty God. And see, see, don't, see, don't God give you back double. Hallelujah. Where's that at? Is it Psalm, uh, uh, Job 42? Uh-huh. Yeah, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Uh -huh. It says verse 40, uh, 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 chapter 42, verse 10, it says, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. When Job prayed for his friend, God turned that captivity around. God turned that curse into a blessing. God turned that spell right back upon, hallelujah, the spell bearer. He turned that captivity over, hallelujah. He turned it back. Yay. Rokopa. He returned it right back to cinder. Hallelujah. God said pray. Hallelujah. Pray. Glory to God. For those that don't believe God exists in your life. Hallelujah. I love y'all. Be blessed. Be safe. Have a great afternoon. Hallelujah. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged today. In Jesus' name.